So this morning we've started to fit our new washing machine in. So the first thing we had to do was remove the fire pipe. So this is where the pipe feeds through, through the two slots you can see there, into the engine bay, behind the back under that lid. If there's a fire you don't open it, you pull the thing. So we've had to take that out and grind back to fiberglass. It's supposed to put our train in at the bottom there. So that's all ground and prepared and that horrible job's over. And I can get me footage, but I did look like Frosty the Snowman. And here's the board for inside, upside down. We um, put a bit of gel coat onto the backside and all the edges to keep it as protected as possible. So should there be any water, timber won't get wet and won't rot. So that'll go in in a minute once it's all hardened. Step two has just been completed. The board is now in and fiberglass all around the corners. Very stinky in here at the moment. Um, so once this sets, we'll be able to do the top flow coat on top and it will all match the rest of the boat. Um, although I'll probably wait for that until these go off. And they're taking a while, we didn't get enough catalyst in, so they're going very slow. Uh, Finally, finishing touches to our washing machine installation, which means match the uh, grey perfectly. I'll give it 100% on that. So, just doing our flow coat on top to make it all look pretty. And it's looking really good. It's fiberglass and flow coated, so it's very, very silky. It was just any water. It's looking very good. Haven't got any on me yet, so I'm doing well. So, there's the new gel coat, which needs to be rubbed back and polished in. The new fire port that will be there. It's all done. So I just got to take the waste drain to the tube under there that we've drilled through the hole in the boat. Get on focus, there it is there. So here we go. Half decent washing machine. This is our maiden use of the washing machine. Now it's all in. Just selected our modes, hit start, all looking good, filling up. How do you feel about it, Joanne? Well, I'll tell you once it's done. So what was the problem? <laughs> so the backflow oh, stopping it going out. was going the wrong way, so it stopped the water going out instead of stopping the water going in. Yeah. Our washing machine's been in for a few weeks now. Um, obviously Joanne uses this probably a bit more than I do, so what do you think of it, Joanne? It's great. It's um, saved me a lot of time and energy. Um, the fact is, normally we would have to do a big trip into a marina and use um, washing machines, which cost you about $5 for a load, which yeah. after a while can get quite costly. So yeah, now yeah. I can wash whenever I want and um, every time. So, yeah, it's quite simple. So just turn it on. So just select the mode. So I normally just go for rapid, medium, and normally just press start. And away it goes. Simple. And it uses about 30 litres, but it does do a rinse cycle that we've learned at the end, so we tend to stop that at the moment. Yeah. But it's a great little unit. Fantastic. And it's actually made of plastic, so it doesn't it won't rust out. Um, very good for a boat. Very happy with the sphere. We're lengthening the battery cables because they were currently installed to our house battery. So if we had flat batteries and we had to charge our house battery, we couldn't start the generator. So that's great Australian trades at work, putting it to the wrong battery. So we need to lengthen these to run just that much further to the start battery. But they've cut the cables too short. So we're starting here. Yeah. But we didn't have a crimp um, pliers big enough because ours are just a little, little ones. And we borrowed these ones. And holy, holy, I can't even pick them up. Jesus. That is one serious. They're a serious piece of equipment. Okay, 
Okay, so we have finished the genset cable coming through the wall, it's coming down. There's our join that we've had to extend, and we've just had to wrap it around the corner here. And here's our star battery. I'll try and get over the top and get down on it, running across to our star battery. And that space you see there is where our AGMs used to be, replaced by just these three batteries, which has more than doubled our capacity to lithium. Um, and lightened the boat by 100 kilos. Much better charging, much better efficiency. So we're going from these, which are mounted on the outside of the boat, which lets rain through. And this is our new track, which is now underneath. Stops at the rain coming through. Oh yeah, anything dodgy. Or oh, what? Anything dodgy. Anything dodgy. Anything, anything that requires me. Gel cover repairs. Gel cover repairs. <laughs> me, yeah, me getting in trouble. So new shades going on. Um, so let's see how they all turn out. Good now. So this will give us weather protection and some protection. So hold the other end, Chris. The oh, it's all right. of our boat since we've had it. Water dripping through onto our table and getting in our seats wet. And we've uh, our modified little thing sits on top. No more rain. From the saloon, the door lift line entry block is now fully protected, making this new area quite weather protected and dry.